Hi there, and welcome to the world of engaging activities using H5P and Moodle. This is Nellie Deutsch, and I'm really excited about this opportunity to show you how things work with ChatGPT and H5P to make your life as teachers a lot easier and, of course, to enrich the lives of your students as a result. You want to spend more time with them and less with creating engaging activities. So this is how it's done. This is a site by h5p.org slash AI slash Moodle. And I'll add that in the description of this video so you can take a look and try things out. Lots of explanations here. I tried them all, well, most of them, and they work. So I highly encourage you to use ChatGPT and let me show you what I've been doing. Right, so here is one uh, where I asked um, H5P creator, but you can ask ChatGPT as well. But this is something that I created to make it more specific for you. But there are other uh, ChatGPTs, GPTs that you can find under Explore. You don't have to pay for it. It's completely free. So this is the prompt that I got from uh, the H5P site that I had showed you. All right, so here it is, and here I am. So this is for the drag and drop. And of course, I changed the prompt to suit my students, in this case, healthy breakfast, and everything else was left as is. And then I copied the code, which was available, went into my course. This is a demo course on online courses for free where you can practice these things. And I welcome you to take an H5P course in January. More about that, um, just ask me in the comment box below. It's completely free and it's a five week course for educators around the globe. So here I um, took a section topic. Of course, you need to turn editing on in order to get this going. Uh, what you do is uh, you use this prompt. There are two of them. Uh, there's this one. You simply copy it. Okay, and, uh, and then you paste it, and I'll show you where that is. So let's go into the first one, which is a single choice and how I developed it. This is what it looks like. Uh, which of these is a healthy breakfast option? So you can choose uh, one of these. Of course, I'll choose the right one to show you. Yay! Uh, but in case you choose the wrong one, you'll get try again. Foods high in sugar aren't the best way to start the day. And this was all created by a prompt on ChatGPT. Completely free, of course. Uh, it makes life a lot easier. Let me go into interactive content and you can see what I added, answer the following questions, and I simply added, let me show you how that's done, by going into the drag and drop, which is the second activity that I created here. So let me turn editing on and show you how that is done. Going to go into the uh, section here, and add an activity or resource. In this case, I'm going to go into activities, not my starred ones, but I should make this start. So let me star this one so it appears with all the other start activities. Go into this one, interactive content. And then um, notice here, you choose. You need to add, of course, a description. You choose which one you want. I've used drag the words, single choice set. Now you can choose any of the others, course presentation, lots of them. Uh, if you need to get it, you just click on the get and it will appear if I guess the answer, create an image. All these are available and you can choose one, multiple choice of course, and then uh, get true or false. All right, let's start with a true or false. 
So here I am, create a true or false about healthy breakfast. And this is what I get. And it says you can add this question into your H5P quiz using the true or false content type in the H5P editor on Moodle. So you can get instructions if you didn't know. So I am copying it, going into my course, and we're with true or false. Okay, and uh, next I'm going to add a description, choose the correct answer, because it's just um, one sentence here. Um, I removed what wasn't necessary. And here we go. This is what students will see. The answer is true. Let's check and no. And there's, you can try it again or show solution. And that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I'll be happy to answer them. Try uh, ChatGPT for zero or my uh, GPT and let me know if you have questions or your comments are always appreciated. Have a great day and enjoy um, a healthy breakfast. Bye for now.